Okay, hello and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Northampton Town. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Remember to follow on Twitch as well. Link is always in the description. We're starting things off with a League 1 fixture against Plymouth Argyle. So let's look at the team for that one. It's Southwood, Brites, Sheehan, Horsfall, Harriman, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missilu, Adams, Holmes and Rose. Big game in League 1 once again. Here is Kamara for Plymouth. Ball launch ward from Sawyer. It's a brilliant one too. Moore touches it down well. Drives into the area all the way across now. Headed away by Harriman. Kamara back in for Jeff Cop. It's 1-0 to Plymouth. It didn't take us long to show our frailties at the back. Headed away initially. Just eased back in by Kamara. And Jeff Cott is on the spot there to finish it. Good header away from the corner there from Adams. Kamara into Opaku. Kamara. Ball through here for Moore. He snatches at it, perhaps. Brites. Rose. Wide for Nicky Adams. Goes back inside here. Brites has continued his run. Brites smashes it high into the roof of the net. Brilliant from the left back. See this one again. Brites continues his run. Adams finds him. He collects that ball and just lifts it above the goalkeeper with the finish. Here is Kamara for Plymouth looking to pull the strings again. Oh, what a ball that is. And Jeff Cott is through on goal. Fantastic from Southwood. And oh, he's got a foul in there. No, he's gone away with it. He hasn't given it. Wow, a great initial save. I thought it was a stonewall penalty on the rebound, but it has not been given. But we've lost the ball again to Plymouth. And here is Danny Mayer. Good turn wide for Cooper. Drives into the area now Cooper. Horsfall with a brilliant tackle. And now will play the ball to Hoskins for perhaps another counter attack. Into Holmes. Oh, he's overran the ball there. And Frank Newball on the ball again. Mayer through for Jeff Cott. He's going to get another opportunity. This time he does finish it. He had an opportunity a couple of minutes ago, Southwood though equal to it, before they probably should have had a penalty. But this time they get another chance, and Jeff Cott does not miss this one. It is 2-1 to Plymouth now. Sean McWilliams with the ball wide for Sam Hoskins. Quickly into Rose, round the corner, little flick. Here is Ricky Holmes who strokes it home. And just like that, we are back level with Plymouth again. To Ricky Holmes this time. Straight into Danny Rose. Quick turn. Little flick to Holmes. And puts it past the goalkeeper. Newball. A retaining possession there ahead of Sheehan. Here is Missalu trying to close him down on the turn now. He smashes against the bar. Got to get rid. Come for Jeff Cart And held by Southwood. Here's Sheehan, who steps out. Harriman quickly into McWilliams, who's flicked it up. McWilliams! Oh, what a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Sean McWilliams there, flicking it up and volleying it toward the goal with a brilliant save. The corner comes in. Harriman may think the same. Goes for goal. Oh, it did swerve. Southwood throws it out to McWilliams. Danny Rose. Here's George Neal now, first chance really for him to get involved. Leaves it for Missalu who can drive. And plays a great ball through. Here's Danny Rose. Danny Rose scores! A brilliant left-footed finish across the goalkeeper. And the Cobblers now lead 3-2 in Plymouth. Could be an absolutely massive goal in our promotion bid. Missalu feeding Danny Rose who of course scores. Still trying to find a way through here, trying to find a gap, and Mayer takes a strike, and Southwood makes a good save. They'll come again here, Plymouth. Mayer looking to pull the strings again, little ball over the top. Sheehan going to get there first brilliantly. Now here is Ricky Corboa, who's going to steam away. Fresh legs, Neil, perfect pass for Sam Hoskins. 
back into Sean McWilliams, driving into the area. Back heel, Hoskins into Neil on his right foot, and that is a brilliant counter attack goal. And George Neil goes suitably mental for that one. Even the manager's getting involved for that one. What a fantastic goal that is from this side. Southwood knows that we have surely won this one now. And he's just relieved the goalkeeper. It's not going to show all of it, but what a phenomenal counter-attack. Quick play and a brilliant finish at the end of it by Georgie Neal. Is there time for Plymouth to come with one more opportunity? Here is Frank Newbel, Jeff Carr. Travelling forward, tackled well by Horsfall who gets it away and there is your full time whistle. A brilliant Cobblers performance ends in a brilliant Cobblers win. Player rating today is 8.5 there for Protez, a great one for Southwood too. McWilliams in there as well and of course Danny Rose the striker. Now we play Southampton in the FA Cup, it's Southwood, Mills, Bolger, Masterson, Fiola, Hoskins, Honeyman, McWilliams, Corboa, Neil and Ashley Seal up top. Here's Fleck for Southampton. Into Michael Obafemi. Through for Theo Walcott. He got, turns back. Return for Walter John Fleck. It's blocked by Masterson. But the referee has pointed to the spot. It is another ridiculous handball decision going against us. Connor Masterson. The victim of injustice again. Oh, what do you want him to do? Cut his arms off. Danny Ings. Ever reliable. It's saved by Southwood. It's saved by Southwood. Here's Fleck. Southampton trying to carve one open. Couldn't quite get to Ings. Southwood diving in bravely for that one. Throwing the ball out for Hoskins. Ball over the top for Honeyman. Chest it down so well. Steaming through here. Our electric counters. Not quite. Oh, we have been given the throw in. Fiola will take it. Hoskins. Space here for Neil. Comes on the inside. George Neil on his left. George Neil scores. It is Northampton 1, Southampton 0. In the Hampton Derby. In this big FA Cup game. George Neil puts us ahead. Against Premier League opposition. Obafemi into Danny Ings. Ball over the top for Nathan Redmond all the way across. Cut out so well by Masterson. And a little flick there from Sean McWilliams to Honeyman. Lovely touch from him. And the counter's on again. He's got a ball through for Ashley Seal and it's perfect for him. Benny Ashley Seal now goes for goal. And just like that, it is 2-0. B-A-S at it again. Benny Ashley Seal loves the cup competition. And it's another goal in a big, big game for him. Redmond plays it through for Danny Ings. Great challenge from Connor Masterson. Honeyman now getting crowded out. Loses it for Ward Prowse. Comes onto his right foot. Brilliant delivery. Danny Ings knocks it down for Fleck. He just drags it wide. Neil can turn and find Hoskins. Bit of space here again, if we can find it. Here's Fiola. Tries to put it in, but will be blocked initially by Redmond. And Southampton now try and play this one out. They've put them under a bit of pressure though, Redmond. Oh, Redmond needs to get rid of this. Finds Salisu. Now here is James Ward-Prowse. Finds himself under pressure. Has to deliver a ball quickly and Mills will win it. And once again, we've quickly taken the ball from them. And Mills with a brilliant little ball into Sam Hoskins. Hoskins goes near post. And they have to make the save. Walcott. Oh, Mills has stepped out and that's poor. Walcott's still got a good bit of pace about him. Walcott now will come back looking for support. He's beaten Mills again. Might opt for the inside pass to Fleck. Here is Obafemi. Obafemi is one of penalty again? What? It's Masterson again here. He tries to use the gap between his legs to get the ball and I think he gets it. It's not a foul. 
Danny Ings goes for the pen anchor and Southwood saves again and it's launched away by Corboa as the half-time whistle blows. Great first half performance. Will Prowse into Pedroza. Back for Bednarek. Fleck now can turn into Walcott. Shea Adams, who is on for Southampton. Over the top for Walcott. It's a good opportunity here for Southampton. It's a good save from Southwood and the point to the penalty spot again. And I think this time it's a very correct decision. It's Kian Bolger who's been booked. Oh yeah. He has clipped him just as the shot's been taken. Danny Ings now steps up and third time is the charm. Brilliant penalty off the inside of the post. Goes all the way back across the goal to the other side before it reaches the net. But that is an awfully cocky celebration for a man who missed two penalties earlier in this game, including one of them being a Penenka. But Danny Ings has put Southampton back in this game. Walker. Goes for Walker-Peters and now here's Fleck. Back to Theo Walcott into Danny Ings, and it's a great stop at the near post from Southwood. Ward Prowse, corner ball, dead ball specialist. Toward the edge of the area, knocked down for Fleck. It's blocked. Get rid of it, Fiola. I think he might just about do. And it's into the path of Ricky Corboa, who puts the ball through for McWilliams. Good strength ahead of Jan Bednarek. And Sean McWilliams now can play a hell of a ball into Sam Hoskins. Hoskins now squares it. Ashley Seal with the open goal. He's got another one. It's 3-1 now for Benny Ashley Seal and the Cobblers. Could we be on our way to a famous FA Cup victory? 3-1. Southwich needs to keep it calm. Here is Masterson with Shea Adams oh Masterson he's been caught out there and here's Ings and Kieran Bolger has taken Danny Ings down second yellow card red card for Kieran Bolger Masterson getting the cobbles into all sorts of trouble and Bolger diving in recklessly James Ward-Prowse will take the free kick he's going to go for goal oh he gets a lot more power than I would have expected from that kind of distance it forces a save out of Southwood and Armstrong now will deliver another corner for Southampton Diallo into Ward Prowse who chests and volleys and Southampton have pulled one back with 25-ish minutes to play when you include the injury time Southampton could be on to a hopeful display in the end of this second half fantastic finish from Ward Prowse we've got to hold on now we don't want to be part of a famous comeback Masterson intercepting the ball attempted by Shea Adams here's Mills into Corboa Corboa who's going to beat Walker Peters and Salazu for pace and energy here is Ricky Corboa who's come on the inside Corboa went on the outside and made the wrong decision Will Prowse goes short for Redmond will we rue that mistake from Ricky Corboa should have taken the shot on Diallo strike going wide for Ward Prowse. Back for Walker Peters. Corboa's on him. He's forced to go back to Salasu. Diallo into Ward Prowse. Armstrong. Ings now. Danny Ings back for Diallo. Diallo wide for Adams. Back inside for Diallo who takes the shot on and Southwood saves well. Hook clear by Hoskins. Little flick around the corner from Ashley Seal and now Misalu sets Corboa away again. Benderek's knackered. Corboa is in here. Corboa goes for goal. The keeper saves it. The keeper saves it. It's another massive chance for Corboa. He just needed to score it. He needed to. He needed to score that one. Oh, Masterson's given it away here. Here's Armstrong. Ball through for Danny Ings. Great save. And get rid of it, Sheehan. Win it, Ashley Seal. He does. But Ward Prowse gets the ball back, and Southampton will continue their pressure. Diallo into Ings. What a flick that is for Armstrong, who finishes it and finally has leveled the game up for Southampton. Oh, 
we are ruining those two missed core bowler chances. The game would probably be over if he'd have put one of them away, but what vision to know where Armstrong would be from Ings. It's 3-3. With time ticking away, three minutes of injury time, is there time for Southampton or is there time for the 10 men of Northampton Town with Honeyman who travels forward and plays it into Ashley Seal. It's a tight angle. Ashley Seal's going to go for it. It's saved well by the goalkeeper. Northampton Town corner. 90 seconds of the match remain. In it comes towards Masterson. Can't quite win it. Sheehan can't quite win it. And now a chance for Danny Ings perhaps to counter Pedraza. What a phenomenal pass that is. And here is Diallo. It is four on one, three on one now. Missing who's gone to the man with the ball, Diallo. He's managed to block it and get rid. Brilliant, heroic defending from Christopher Misalou as the full-time whistle goes. One hell of a dramatic game against Southampton in the FA Cup there. What a performance overall. We get a draw, which means we will have a replay at St Mary's in a short while. Great ratings for Benny Ashley Seal in there and of course for Southwood. We have an FA Cup replay to contend with again and now we can breathe for a moment. EFL trophy action against Stevenage now. It's Southwood, Brites, Horsfall, Deitch, Harriman, Hoskins, Pollock, Watson, Corboa, Holmes and Rose. A lot of rotation here, especially with the upcoming game against Southampton in the replay. We've got to try to have a fully fit first team squad for that one. But Danny Rose is about to steam through on Stevenage here. Danny Rose probably should have passed. Corboa with a throw into Brites. Brites coming in. Corboa into Holmes. Holmes over for Pollock. Pollock goes for one. He's going to fall back here for Danny Rose on the swivel, on the volley. It's 1-0 to Northampton down. And Danny Rose has another goal. Lovely to see here. Scott Pollock's shot deflects, falls very kindly in the end. But Danny Rose with a lovely straight arrowed shot into the back of the net. Hinton. Good challenge from Watson. Now here is Corboa. Corboa just steaming away here. Great pace from Ricky Corboa. Corboa coming in now on the goalkeeper. Comes inside. Corboa safe from the keeper and cleared. Carl Pollock wins that challenge. Bjornsson will bring it forward again. Here is Osborne now for Stevenage. Dinanga. Marsh. Over for Hutton. The left back inside. Intercepted by Harriman but won back by Osborne. Carter. Ball over the top for Marsh. Chests it down. Marsh has the ball here. Puts it across for Dinanga. And smashing it into the ground just in front of Southwood. Stevenage have levelled it up. League 2's Stevenage. And our defensive frailties are showing once again here in the EFL Trophy. A little bit awkward for Southwood, but it's so close to him. He entered over to Dinanga. Osborne. Chests it down, brings it in. Here's Marsh. Marsh shoots. And Stephen Hitcher in front. It is another poor defensive display from this team. Just so easy. Look at how he peels away. 2-1. Elliot List with the throw-in, who you may remember from my FIFA 20 career mode. An absolute hero for us in that series. Ryan Watson with a brilliant challenge. Driving away. Plays the ball through brilliantly for Rose, who's beaten the offside trap. Flag stays down, and Danny Rose puts it in the back of the net. It's 2-2, and Rose has both. Brilliant for Danny Rose. Brilliant as well from Ryan Watson. Look at that beautiful pass. Danny Rose right on the edge of offside. Puts it past the goalkeeper. Dinanga loses out. And here is Pollock now. Can play it forward for Sam Hoskins. Ball through now for Danny Rose. Danny Rose one on one with the keeper. Doesn't miss. Danny Rose has a hat trick in the EFL trophy. Danny Rose. And look at that. Oh, look on his face. Tells a story, doesn't it? What a goal scorer Danny Rose is. 
It is 3-2 now to the Cobblers. Harriman into Pollock. And just like that, he can play a ball in behind for Holmes, but he was a little shut off there. And the goalkeeper can play this one out to Townsend West. Here is Pet for Stevenich. What a challenge from Watson. He's going to play another blinder of a pass for Danny Rose. And Danny Rose scores again. It's 4-2. Danny Rose has all four. And it is another brilliant piece of midfield play from Ryan Watson. Wins the ball back. Plays another fantastic pass through to him. And it's finished so well from Danny Rose. On fire at the moment. Osborne with lots of space in the midfield. Can drive forward. Here is Dinanka. Dinanka puts it in the top corner. Some more very shoddy defending. Especially from the midfield there. They were AWOL on that one. And Dinanka celebrates scoring against us. The Stevenage have pulled the goal back. Phenomenal finish. Got to hold on now. Just keep the ball here, lads. Don't worry too much about it. Watson going wide as the ball goes over to the left back and the final whistle goes. Danny Rose will pick up his match ball. Four goals on the day for the Cobblers striker. A brilliant performance puts us in the next round of the Cup. Let's have a look at the player ratings. Obviously a phenomenal 10 out of 10 for Rose. 8.3 for Watson too, who was also brilliant. Two standout performances in that one there. Now we move over to Portsmouth in the league. Southwood Mills, Sheehan Horsfall, Fiola, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missaloo, Adams, Holmes and Ashley Seal. We have the replay against Southampton after this. So there's been a few players rested in this crucial game against Portsmouth at the top of the table. But I think the team I've put out here has enough about them as Mills and Adams come steaming forward. Adams over to Mills again. Beautiful delivery. And BAS has to score. He has to do better. He's put it over the bar there. It's so poor. Here's John Marquis now for Portsmouth. Cannon. Ronan Curtis picks this one up now. Goes for goal. But it's really tame and easy for Southwood. Throws it for Nicky Adams. Intercepted by Harness. And Harness can drive forward. Here's Harrison. Now John Marquis over to Cannon. Cannon runs through. Cannon shoots. But it goes wide. Big chance. Sean McWilliams. Plays a lovely ball through for Benny. Ashley Seal. Going to come onto his left foot here. Ashley Seal tries to square it. But it's intercepted. And now Portsmouth have a potential counter on here with Marquis. Into the path of Harrison. Now Curtis. Looking good for Portsmouth here. The ball's delivered. And it's hit by Harness. Headed into the ground and over the bar. Naylor for Portsmouth now. Beautiful ball over the top for Harness. Harness comes in on his left. Harness opts to square it for Stanley. Awkward but saved by Southwood. Raggett. Quick ball, but Horsefall will head it away. It's poor. Here's Ricky Holmes quickly into the path of Adams. Who similarly plays it quickly to Ashley Seal. Now here's Pollock. Quick charge forward. Ashley Seal now. He's in. Ashley Seal. It's really poor. He's dragged it so far wide in the end. Oh, the ball played straight at Honeyman. Holmes into Ashley Seal. Takes a touch and bangs one. Benny Ashley Seal with an absolute banger. The calmness in his face. After missing a really good opportunity a minute to go. He collects this ball here. 25 yards from goal and just bangs it. Incredible finesse into the top corner. The skill involved in this strike making it into the top bins is unreal. We lead 1-0 in a very crucial and very tight game against Portsmouth. A cobbler's corner here. As the clock ticks away for Portsmouth. Adams delivers it towards Horsfall. It's punched away. Corboa heads it back in. He's pushed by Marquis surely. But it doesn't matter if the full time whistle goes a phenomenal 1-0 victory over Portsmouth thanks to that special special strike from BAS player rating show that really nobody stood out apart from the goalkeeper but you've got to give a special shout out for that touch of magic from Benny Ashley Seal 
On to the FA Cup replay now. It's Southwood, Britez, Horsfall, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Missilu, Adams, Neil and Danny Rose. We go to St Mary's Stadium to play Southampton in the FA Cup, who interestingly are playing Ryan Bertrand on the right side of midfield. Southampton pretty heavily changed as well. A few notable names in here, but they are changed a bit more than they were in the draw at six fields. But Danny Ings is still in the side. Will he be able to have another shout in front of goal this time after missing two penalties in the last game? Here's Shane Long into Fleck. Back to Long, first time! Puts it in the bottom corner. And just three minutes into the game, we are down by the one goal. Thanks to the Irish international forward, Shane Long. Fleck combining with Shane Long. Brilliant snap finish. Danny Ings over for Smallbone. Now here is Shane Long again. Score of the first goal. Fleck now. Looking to travel forward and create once more. Tries play against Missilu. We'll get it back. Fleck goes for goal. And scores. So unlucky. Missilu initially thought he did quite well. Wins the ball. Comes back off of him. Back to Fleck so kindly. It's a gift really. It's so unlucky. And then Fleck buries it. Bretez with the throw in for Missilu. Missilu, oh he's lost control. Now here's Danny Ings. Fleck, ball over the top for Ryan Bertrand who as I said earlier is playing on the right side of midfield today. Walker Peters inside for Bertrand. Bertrand does really well, gets it on his left foot into Fleck who just plays it wide. Sims to Ings. Knocked down for Shane Long. Back to Danny Ings. Southampton just threat after threat after threat. Here's Fleck around the corner. Shane Long into Bertrand. And Southwood makes a really good stop. Fleck with the corner. To the edge of the area to Shane Long. Adams there with him. The referee's given a handball penalty again. Because of course he bloody well has. Let's see this one. Oh, just, I give up. I really do give up. Danny Ying steps up. Can he right his wrongs? Southwood makes another save from a Danny Ying's penalty. Fantastic stuff. And Honeyman now. Oh, no, they've given it straight back to him here. Here is Pedraza. Danny Ying's. Danny Ying's small bone with the one-two. Back to Danny Ying's. And he makes up for his penalty miss. Stop putting that man on penalties. He cannot score them. He had four penalties in two matches against us. He's missed three of them. Well, to be fair, Southwood saved all three of them. But still, this time Danny Ings with a cool finish in front of goal. Nicky Adams with a corner for Cobblers. First real opportunity to get at this Southampton defence. Toward the penalty area. It's headed back straight to Alex McCarthy. Launched forward here toward Danny Ings. Now Bretez can play it into Neil, who gets his first opportunity to run at Southampton, plays a ball in to George Honeyman, who makes it 3-1. First real chance of the game. We put it away. Maybe, just maybe. Brilliant from Neil, first opportunity to do anything for him. Get on the ball, he creates a goal. Fleck looking to cause havoc for us again. Here's Walker Peters. Bertrand combining with Walker Peters. Now here is Ings. Danny Ings, fantastic on the ball there. Here's Josh Sims into Fleck. Here's Pedraza. Pedraza smashes it hard and low on the volley. And the man at left back today makes it 4-1 to Southampton. We have been well and truly bested taking a part in this first half against Southampton. It is all over for us in this FA Cup tie, you feel. Here is Danny Ings. Southampton looking to cause more havoc than just the four. Here's Shane Long. Ryan Bertrand. Bertrand to Ings. And Southwood gets across to make a good stop. feel so sorry for Southwood. He's getting absolutely no help 
from his defence in this one as Aurel Romeo knocks it for Bertrand who knocks it down for Danny Ings Bertrand into Romeo over to Lundalu. now here is small bone good save from Southwood cleared away but not quite enough away this time from Horsfall back into small bone Bertrand Bertrand strikes and Southwood makes another save Ward Prowse finds small bone brilliantly stops it dead on the line Ward Prowse again Romeo turns here's Unlundaloo ball from Bertrand can return it to Unlundaloo who makes it 5 for Southampton it is 5-1 now the Hampton Derby has truly been won by the South the North do not reign supreme today and Lundaloo with a great finish there after the combination with Bertrand and mercifully now we are into the last minute or so of injury time but Southampton are going to look for another one here Romeo through for Danny Ings Ings stops dead avoids the challenge a bit of a mix up and then Lundaloo heads his second past Southwood it is six for Southampton one for us It's a poor, poor day at the office, bested by a brilliant Southampton today. And Lundalu heads it past Southwood. And I can't imagine we're going to get much of a chance after this kickoff. Nope, doesn't even get to Neil. It ends at St Mary's South 6, North 1. Quick look at the player ratings, but I don't think there'll be anything to shout about. It's a nice one in there for Honeyman and a nice bit of recognition for southwood as well and that's it then guys thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to follow on twitch and i will see you all next time on the cobbler's career mode